You want the computer to see you? No, I wasn't reading, I wasn't reading that. Reading what? It's something, uh, something came over that whole thing. What up, yo, salute. Yo, turn the TV up, please. Turn the TV on. A little bit. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Yo, you tell me to fuck off. I tell you, turn the fucking TV on. What the fuck is wrong with you? You want to fight? Yeah. You want to fight? Yeah. Show me what you got. What you got? What fuck you got up, man. Got? Yo, what's good with y'all? Yo, man. Very interesting day today. Girl. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out a couple of good peoples. I'm on my new laptop. Shout out to my wife. Child to my wife. She keeps saying, huh, I'm going in and fuck her ass up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, you better stop playing with me. We got to get up in the morning. Your hair ain't going to be long. Let me see. Shout out to, yo, shout out to my wife. Shout out to, shout out to Chills, you heard? She passed away in her sleep. Beautiful black woman, you heard? Sleeping R.I.P. Chill, you heard? From Brooklyn, Brownsville, you heard? Candlelight tomorrow, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, man. I had my man come through today and saw me, man. We chopped it up, you know. He was he wound up working. He was he do asbestos, you know what I'm saying? Did 21 years, and you know he's from East New York. Real nigga, you know what I'm saying? East New York, pink houses, named Young, co-defendant Smoke. Shout them brothers out, you know. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of Sarah Wallace. She's a news reporter, and she's working on the case to help, you know what I'm saying, my man, uh, Clint Clarum, from a homicide that happened in 1986. And it, that's a crazy story because, you know, we used to go to Automotive High, you know what I'm saying? From the time from 84, 85, 86, and we became real cl close friends. And, now, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all, y'all remember me saying that, you know, you know, I'm from Brownsville, right? And um, a lot of Brownsville people that's from Brownsville, they don't, they don't know people or other people outside of Brownsville, you know, it's like, because they isolate themselves. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things I want to touch on was, you know, I, like I told you, if y'all don't remember that I was the one who, uh, I was one of the ones who, from Brownsville, and with my reputation, I was everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was in East New York. I was in Bad Star. You heard? I, and them niggas uptown know, they see a Brooklyn nigga, smell a Brooklyn nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? I'm Yeah, I'm definitely staring. But my, my man came and checked me today. He got off of work like 1 o'clock. He, he was in the polo grounds. He said, I was, you know, I'm working. And he do asbestos. He'd been on 21 years. He pulled up. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's a guy that introduced me to some solidified niggas in the 80s. Jerk, Drag, God bless the dead pig, Sharif. Got Tony, Lil Just, um, Bob, Lil Bob from Cyprus. Shout out to uh, Smoke. Shout out to, you know, Cab Webb. Shout out to Lila, you know. Shout out to my real niggas out there in East New York. I, I ran with in the 80s. Only Brownsville nigga. The, I was only Brownsville nigga at that time running around with East New York dudes, you heard? Mad love. But my son pulled up on me, young, you heard? And we chopped it up in the car. I wanted him to come in the house, but he he's, he he parked by a fire hydrant. So we chopped it up. You know what I mean? We talked for two, three hours in the car. You know what I mean? About everything. You know, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember the day when he got arrested. You know, 
because he was one of my, you know, truest, real motherfucker best friend. And um, it was after the, it was after the Christmas holidays and New Year's holidays, because you know you go on a vacation when you're in school. So you know Christmas come and then you don't go back to school until after New Year's. So you know the first day back. After New Year's, going to school, everybody got the flyest shit on. What they got for Christmas, you know, British walkers, playboys, the sheepskins, your, you know I me, mean? whatever, the polo goose, whatever that was out there in the 80s, your, I was rocking all that shit. But my son, my son Young, I don't know if y'all know that nigga came through with the full length head goose on. Your, he had two big rings on, your. The ice, he had the, he had the, he had the, uh, he had the, uh, pinky ring with the horseshoe with the diamonds in it. Then he had another nugget ring with dice iced out and the diamonds in it, you heard? We got, I remember, meet him at Broadway Junction, you heard? Cause he from, he coming from Pink Houses. I'm coming from Brownsville. So we meet at the Junction. We get on the G train. And then, you know, we like, oh shit, he dip. I got my fourth finger on. I got my polo vest on with the ski man in the back. You know what I mean? I'm low down. You know what I'm saying? Levi jeans. You know what I'm saying? I had some rust chuckers on, you heard? With the black bottom, scully hat. But um, I remember we was walking to school after we got off the train. We, get on the, we got on the G train from whatever. We get on the train, we walking to school. And we just kicking it. Yo, how was your, how was your holidays? Holidays was good, bro. My, my shit was flavor. You know what I'm saying? I caught mad, you know what I'm saying? We know we made mad money, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We spent, we went, that's when Bloomingdale's was out. We everybody went to Bloomingdale's to get their polo shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it was a it was a good thing, you know. We we proceeded to go to class and you know, we was in the same class, you heard? We had the same classes during the day, you know. We, so that was my boy. But you know, we was in the car and we was talking, and I was like, damn man, damn, I remember when the day these motherfuckers came into class, you know, and it was crazy, you know, and he was like, yeah, son, I said, yo, when we sat in the class, you know, two detectives came into class, and they was like, yo, you know, where's David Warren at, and I was like, what, so where's David Warren at, we looked at each other, looked at me, surprise, that nigga was like, what the fuck, so the, the teacher pointed David Warren out, yo, that's David Warren, aka Young, you know, that's my man, they pointed them out. Boom. So they said, yo, you know, uh, we have to take you down to the station. You know what I mean? You being investigated for a homicide. The fuck? Nah, I'm like, and this is this is 80, this is 85, 86. Police like, yo, the save your life, leave your stuff, leave all your stuff. You know, he left his coat, his head coat with me, he left all his jewelry with me. You heard? This is 86. He left all his stuff with me. You know, it's popping at 86. He left all his stuff with me. And boom, I took his rings, put it inside the inside coat, put the rings in the inside of his coat, right? Put it in his coat, boom. And they took my son out in handcuffs, out of school. Nigg niggas ain't never forget it. I told the motherfuckers till this day that I remember that, that was in my class that I'm still close with. And boom, they, they say the same story, man. I remember when the police came and got young. We never saw son after that, no more. You know what I mean? A lot of people didn't. You know what I mean? I ran the son later on in that notch. But, you know, I took his rings, his coat, right after school, went straight to his mom's house. Gave it to his brother Gucci. It was like, yo, man, your brother gone. Then I was like, what? Fuck, yeah. Matter of fact, I didn't even do a whole day in school. When they took him, the next period, I was out. I cut school. Just to go tell his family that they got him. You know what I'm saying? They, they came into school, so boom. I gave the coat, gave the rings, and I ain't see son no more. You heard? And this is like 80, 85, 86. You heard? And then, um, and then we just sitting in the car. We chopping it up. And he said, yo, nigga, you know what? You know what he told me was some real shit? He said, nigga, I I'm glad I gave you my coat and my ring. He said... The shit that I had on gave me problems. <laughs> that was some real shit. Because I remember he had a wool wrench, a button-up joint with the with the suede patches, with the suede elbows. 
He had on some Calvin Klein's. He had on some brand new, uh, uh, damn. I don't know if there was a suede Adidas back then when they was rocking the suede Adidas. Or the, but anyway, he said, man, I had, I had three fights in a week because of my shit you already had on. He was a fine nigga. You know what I'm saying? But he's a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I want to shout my son Young out, man. You know what I'm saying? I pray that, you know what I'm saying, that the reporters and them all take, also take heed to it. And, and hopefully, I can get him a gig on the Queen's Flip show with his lawyer and his co-defendant. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it was a good, it was a good, it was a good chop up, you heard? Salute, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, you know what I mean? You know, and um, that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, he always been my nigga, you know? He never, he never, um, I always asked him, I said, man, how you feel about me not being in touch? Like, you know what I mean? I, I ran into him for the first time. And Napa Notch in the match when I went up, got my number. Now, Napa Notch was the first jail I went to, right? From Rikers Island. I went from down from Rikers Island, you know, wilding out on that blood shit, tearing shit up, and they finally gave me a break. I said to say this, and I, I asked my counselor when I got to Napa Notch, I went from downstate to Napa Notch, and I got my number. 94850049. Now I go to Napa Notch. So when I go to Napa Notch, this motherfucking jail, this prison, this shit got movie theaters. They say if you look at somebody wrong and then you out of here. If you even attempt to fight or stay, you out of here. So I, I thought it was a hidden agenda or some type of smoke screen. Why from Rikers Island with the bad record that I got, they sent me to Nap. The first Max B prison. Hey, Matt, so I got a call from my counselor. My counselor asked him the same thing. I said, yo, I'm not for nothing, but why am I in this jail? He said, yo, we got a referral on you that you so bad at, that you so, you know, your disciplinary, so we want to know how would you work in, in the calm environment. He said, because sometimes, and this makes sense, when you take a wild person out of a wild environment, Bring them to a calm environment, they tend to be calm. They calm and settle down. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I kind of understand that. You heard? So, you know what I mean? Th th that was my thing. So, you know, but make a, make a, make a, make a um, long story short. Um, so he asked me, you know, just a fresh start for you. You had a, you had a long road, Mr. Davis. You did a lot of cutting out. I got your record from Rikers Allen. I, I followed you. I went back, you know, and you, you know, you, you did a lot of things. And you know what he told me? He said, this is a new start. So tell me what kind of program you want to take in here. I said, I want to go into the metal shop. He said, okay, you sure you want to go into the metal shop? I said, yeah, I want to go to the core crop. I want to do the metal. I want to make the bezel. He said, all right. I went back. To my cell. Next morning, I tried to go off with child poo. I was on a pack up. <gasps> what the fuck? That motherfucker sent me on a pack up. I found up later on in Attica when I got the they sent me to Attica. They sent me from there. Another, I don't know what what at that time I didn't know what I did, why, and why would he what the fuck? I was like, I felt like I got punched all over again. Like I was going to the box. You know what I'm saying? So now, um, this shit is crazy. So when I get to Attica, my counselor told me, I said, yo, what was the problem? What I do? I didn't do no discipline. I didn't do nothing. I didn't cut nobody. Enough. She said, you put down for metal shop. They thought you was a threat, that you was trying to make weapons, <laughs> or you was attempting to, you know, I said, motherfuckers. Which it probably was on my mind, but I didn't know they was going to send me out of there. You heard? But that shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And me and my son Young, he said, you know what? He said, I know. You ain't been in the jail to see me on a week and you was on a pack. I said, son, I ain't even do nothing. I told my counselor to put me down 
for metal shop and that nigga sent me to Attica. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Damn. All I did was ask for a metal shop. What the fuck? You're a piece. You know what I mean? But, yo, I'm so glad. I'm absolutely, you know, glad. I don't know if motherfuckers can relate to this. When you, you know, your energy level becomes very, very different when you're around so many real motherfuckers. You heard? And y'all got values. Y'all got morals. Y'all got principles. So everything is, is so strong. You know, it feels like almost that y'all niggas will take over the world. But you know you can. Because the world is not to be taken. It's only to be added. You know what I mean? Nobody can't take the world. You know what I'm saying? But you can, you can, you only can add to it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the thing about this, this world. You can't take the world, but you can add to it. You can make a difference. You know what I'm saying? But when you're around strong motherfuckers and motherfuckers, uh, 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 you know, uh, you influenced by both your energies. When you and the motherfuckers are influenced by both your energies, it becomes a greater love. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's respectful. You know what I mean? It's, it's strong. You know what I mean? We, we kings. You know what I'm saying? We kings, and we got history, being real motherfuckers, never ratting on motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Never telling on motherfuckers. This shit is crazy. Like, we got, we learned this shit as we was young growing up, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm going to tell you this, young is two years older than me, but when I went to school and met that man, I became under him. I was under him. I followed him everywhere he go. He took me out of Brownsville. Yo, get the fuck out of Brownsville. Come to East New York. I said, I don't know about East New York. He brought me to Drag Crib. I met Pig, God bless the dead. We started hanging out with God, Tone, and Josh. You heard? It was just us four. And then later on down the line, little John from some of the projects. Yeah, little F from the 90s. We oh, we had a crew. We had a crew called the Short Crew. And my son Rob and Mike, God bless the dead, from some of the projects. We all with some little niggas in the 80s running around on the train, yapping niggas, busting jury windows, running in, taking mad polo shit in the 80s. We was doing crazy shit, you heard? And I, throughout the years, we all separated, went our separate ways, forgot our, our memoirs, you heard? But you know what I mean? I, I can't forget those, I can't forget those moments. I can't forget those moments, especially when we went away for such a long time and then we come back. It says crazy. The energy is different. It's fact. But yeah, man, I just, I just feel good being around. And I got another subject to talk about too. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Young. I hope you get. You know, I hope Sarah Walls do an investigation. Y'all get this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all get this shit overturned. Glad y'all went back and and get this case thrown out. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. That, 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 you know what I'm saying? That, that crooked ass cop, the same cop, the same arresting officer for my man, did another person that same way, picked him out, crooked shit, criminal misconduct, and then he got 40 million. And that same cop that lied, coerced, that, that cheated, they had to give a nigga $40 million. Why my son Young, who got the same thing done to him, going to get that too? You heard? Him and his code of finish smoke. They going to get that too. The fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Word, man. And another thing I want to touch on, man, I got to shout this motherfucker out. First, I want to shout, I just got a, I just got a message, right? On my laptop, boom, nigga hit me. You know, because I like the dude. He did, he did a, 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 a shout out to my, um, TJ. You heard? Not TJ. Shout out to my man Taj from 308 Sutter Avenue, you heard? In Brownsville. He went to go see my man, the big A called Dick Wolf. And he messaged me and said, yo, man. He sent me a picture of him and Dick Wolf. He said, yo, man. Yo, Big Wolf, he love you. I said, I love that nigga too. We legendary friends. We legendary brothers from years ago. You know what I mean? Years ago, you heard from the beginning, Wolf was my was my boy. We we been homies. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a super good dude. Super real dude. You heard? But now I want to put you on something. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dick Wolf. Shout out to the Big Eight. You know what I'm saying? This, you know what I'm saying? Basically, our relationship is, is solid. You heard? You know what I mean? A lot of niggas don't know. You know what I'm saying? Me and Wolf is solid. You heard? But it's, it's, he's another real nigga that gave me a lot of energy. Send me mad love. Even when I was on the low. I, even I was under. A lot of niggas didn't know I was under the table. I was in the ground. He still found a way to reach out to me when I was in the ground. He found a way to reach out to me while I was buried in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Buried in the ground, he found a way to reach out to me. And somehow a missile get to me. And you like, yo, KK, come see me. I love you. Boom, boom. Get up. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, shit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. Word Wolf, that's some, that's some real nigga. You heard? So, you know what I'm saying? They got a movie coming. They we, we doing a movie. Nick's supposed to send me uh my homie's supposed to send me a script. Gonna do a uh working on a movie called Up Top. You heard? About two broken niggas going up north to get money. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a it's a you know, it's a movie. It's a it's a it's being written right now and it's being uh, you know, it's in the mix right now. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker send me a script, so I'm I might be playing in that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I might be playing in that. You know, thanks to Wolf, you heard? Wolf told the little homies, yo, make sure you get KK in there. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate him. I appreciate him wholeheartedly. Shout out to Wolf. Shout out to Wolf. Shout out to Wolf. Boom. You know what I mean? And hopefully, you know, I'll get to reach out to him. You know what I mean? I talk to Dead Eye sometime. And um, I just, you know, I just, I feel energetic, man. You know? Because these dudes got love for me. I got love for them. You know, real only recognize real. You know what I'm saying? A lot. I, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate to come across a lot of dudes, blood and real niggas. You heard? Come across these dudes, and their nature and their love is still the same. You understand what I'm saying? That's the real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Their love never changed for me. You heard? You know, a lot of motherfuckers that I added to my life that was a piece of shit. Maybe they gonna continue to be a piece of shit. Because they, they never was real, you heard? And, you know, I, I can't I can't fault them, you know what I mean? You know, so, you know what I mean? I just, you know, I just got to let them live their merry way, you know what I mean? But, you know, you know, because I, I took a lot of love. I took a lot of people in that wasn't right, you heard? They, they wound up being rats, and I found out later on this nigga was ratted on niggas from back in 96. And, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn. But I was already in love with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I was in love with the motherfucker. So now I had to cut the nigga loose like, boom, he got to go. You heard? He ratted. You know what I'm saying? He's got paperwork on you. You got paperwork and you sign the statements and you voluntarily sign the statements. I don't give a fuck how many niggas you shoot. How many niggas you think you can kill. But you, you, that shit go out the window. That shit go out the window. You ain't a real nigga. You a weak motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about what you do or how you do shit. Or who you think you are. You got a weakness, nigga. That's a disease, nigga. You voluntary writing statements and all that. And you go around like you tough, nigga. Fuck out of here, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Word, die, nigga. Die. Fuck it. You heard? Die. You heard? Fuck it. That's how I feel. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Then you're going to try to front. Fuck out of here. But then, um, make a long story short, that's what it is, though. You know what I mean? All right, I got to reach some... I ain't gonna make this long. I don't wanna make this long. You felt that, Fredo? Everybody do, you heard? Yo, what up, Killer Cap? Salute, Rich, you know what I mean? What up? Damn. This, is, this shit is new. I gotta tap the screen to look at comments, right? But I gotta get my shit up. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to read my comments, right? But this shit is fucking weird, you heard? I'm getting hot just talking about real niggas, you heard? Yo, hit the hit hit the like button. Now what's this like button? What the fuck is a like button? Right here? No. What's the like button?
Love is always free, you heard? Yeah, hopefully I can do, uh, yeah, that's right, Dead Ass Talk. Now, Jedi is a non track. You fool, son. The thumbs up for viewers. Where's it at, you know what I mean? Yeah, Dead Eye. Shout out to Dead Eye. Shout out to the real niggas. You know what I mean? Ain't just about blood. It's about real niggas, too. I got a lot of real niggas, you heard? Got a lot of, you know, a few real blood niggas, you heard? That I could. <clears throat> A few blood real niggas I could I could dab to, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Wolf is one of them. Salute, that's a fact, Red Fredo. Close chat. I don't know how to do that. Let me see. Big bitch, what up? Yeah, but I'm not gonna make this. Make, I'm not gonna make this a long one. I gotta get up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I get up early in the fucking morning and shit. Take care of things, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to all the real ones, you heard? Shout out to all the real niggas, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just felt good today. I had two real niggas reach out to me. You heard? Two real niggas reach out to me. My son Young. My son Young from Big Houses, and I had Wolf reach out to me. Dick Wolf, man, salute, you heard? I had Dick Wolf reaching out to me, you know, sent me a flick. They sent me a flick. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, man. They sent me a flick of a member that, you know what I mean? Let me see if I can find that. Hold on, let me see how I can see something. Let me see what I can find. Right. Let me see. Oh, here go right here. I'm gonna show you a picture I just got. I got sent by, you know what I mean, to walk. You know what I'm saying? Bing. Here it go. They go the picture right here, man. They just sent me Wolf in the middle yard. It's the homie Dick Wolf. You hear me? Shout out to Dick Wolf, man. Fat. Word up. Mad love. Mad love, man. You know what I mean? Let y'all read some comments. See what he said? He said, My brother Wolf talk highly about you on the VI. You see that? My brother Wolf talk highly about you on the VI. You heard? We go back. That's my motherfucking heart. We go back. You know what I mean? Are oh, we gonna try to donate? We're gonna try to donate, uh, you know, we're gonna try to donate for his appeal. We're gonna try to get an appellate lawyer for him. Hopefully things will work out with me, you know what I mean, and some other people in the street, street dreamers, you heard. We work out on a pill to try to get him or down, you know what I'm saying? Some you know, try to get him some less time or try to come home off this shit. You know what I mean? So, you know. That's that's our main focus right now. You know, real niggas do real shit, man. You know what I mean? And real niggas, you know, you know, keep real niggas in their thoughts. And that's what it is. Word up. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So 
It is what it is, what it's going to be, and that's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do. Vallejo, what up? Yeah, you got life, bro. Fact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My heart goes out to him, you know what I mean? But, you know, for the time being, he's all right, you know what I mean? He's holding up. He got a lot of time. He holding up, though. And um, he got visits. And I know some chicks that be going to see him that was in Elmira in the town with me. Some white broads. You heard? And, you know, they, they, they send my letters. They send my um my um scribes. And he send their scribes to them. And, you know what I'm saying? They, they ain't touching me. Bird. So, you know, it's all good, though. You know what I mean? <clears throat> now, I'll try to touch on some other things. About, you know, about life. You know, they said that a man in many words is a fool. A man in few words is wise. And um, there's uh, there's things that you know, or there's people that. You know, we all come in contact with. Thank you. Yeah, I had to change that shit up, man. I didn't know what I was doing, man. Flip had to help me with a lot of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to give up the subject, man. But yeah, Flip, the, 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 the you fool shit, that's what I'm putting up all the time. You know what I mean? Then caption whatever. I, I can't deal with these motherfuckers taking a picture of me. feel like a mugshot on this iPhone. When you, you, when you do YouTube live, you hit the point, point, point you go through the live, and then you wait. Three, two, one, ping. And you know what I'm saying? Feel like, feel like a mugshot. You heard? Straight overhead. You heard? Facts. So now he taught me how, he taught me how to do the you fool instead of my mugshot. I get to do the you fool shit, you heard? It took me like a half an hour to learn that pe learn that shit too. I had to call a nigga back four or five times, you heard? Wake him up. He mad at me now. I'm waking my sleep. Man, I can't find a I can't find a pen on the on the on the shot. So I had to screenshot, I had to screenshot the 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 the, the picture. Yo, screenshot me the picture, because he gave me the video to do the step by step. And after the snapshot, I couldn't find what they call a pen. But the pen was in the picture with me. I thought he was talking about the pen was gonna be in the corner with a camera at and the arrow. But it wasn't. Then I sent him a screenshot. He said, look at the pen right there. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't see it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He was all right though. He was a little bad at me and shit. I don't give a fuck you get mad. You know? As long as I get through, you heard? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, you heard? He do. We like, we like family, you heard? We brush that shit off. That shit don't go nowhere, you heard? You heard? That shit don't go nowhere. That's what love is about. That's what loyalty is about, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Flip is a, is a good motherfucker. We, we go do our shit. I be bugging him. What the fuck? I can't do this. You know, I, he know I'm computer illiterate. I don't know nothing about electronics. I don't care about that shit, but I got to learn it in order to, you know, to make things more better in my life. I, I need to learn these type of things. Now, I ain't never cooked, you heard? Yeah, I know I'll get used to it, you heard? I'll get used to it. You know what I mean? I just gotta be here at the table every day. Now I got the laptop, you know what I'm saying? So I'm learning a lot about the laptop, you know what I'm saying? Got the laptop right here. Happy tomorrow. Yeah, I got a little laptop right here, you know what I'm saying? You know? Learn how to go to my YouTube and shit.
get all the ladies, you know, shit crazy. You know what I mean? I go to my live channel right here. Oh, um, bang. Yeah, I'll get used to this shit, you heard? I'll get used to it, y'all. I know how to go to the dashboard. I know how to go to my page. You know what I'm saying? I wrote all that shit down. Motherfucker got a notebook. I got a, I have a, I got a brand new notebook, you know? So I'm in front of here. I'm in front of here like I'm in the office. Facts. Much love. I feel like I'm in the office right now. I got, I got books galore. Notebook. It's like my little office I got set up. You know what I'm saying? This shit is a job now. You understand what I'm saying? So I eat right, sleep right, work out right. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. All the time. I know it is. Thank you. Man, thank you for the support, you heard? Y'all all, all, I thank all y'all for the support, man. You know what I mean? I want all y'all to stick with me, you heard? I want y'all to stick with me. You know what I mean? Be patient with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, you heard? What's good? What's good, Ryan Mass? What's good, fellas? You heard? Love is love, man. I ain't trying to sound crazy or nothing, but I want to be a cult with y'all. You heard? We're going to be a cult together. You heard? A cult. You hear me? <laughs> Yo, get bigger watch. Your lives gonna get bigger watch. Thank you. Mm. Medina Warrior, what's up? I do like writing, you heard? I like read you know what? There's certain books that I read and certain things catch me. Like, especially when they talk about history. Kill a level cult. Word up. Old head slew Philly, you heard? No doubt. Yeah, man, but you know, I like writing down shit that sparked my brain. Anything or anybody, sometimes I catch somebody saying something on here that sparks my brain. And I be like, mmm, I got to remember that, I got to remember that person, you heard? You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? This is all about, you know what I mean? I got to put hours in, I got to put, I got like only a thousand and some hours in. I got to get like 4,000 hours in, you know? Yo, Flip keep pushing me. You know, I get lazy sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to get the shirts, man. I'm going to push those shirts too. But I get lazy sometimes. I do. I be slacking. You know what I mean? And sometimes push me. Yo, what you doing? Look at that. I'm ready reading the book. Get up. Get on the internet, man. Get to know, get to know the crowd. Get to know people. You know, I'm not too, too much of a social person. But I know I can adapt to people that's not that sociable with with sight of themselves. So that's what makes me, uh, that's what gives them the, uh, I'm going to say, that's what gives me the influence on, or they get the influence from me. So I, we be influencing each other. You know what I mean? If you ever, if you never was a, a social person, you like me now. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's how I want to be. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's the type of energy I bring. You know what I'm saying? So... That's a that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's a good nature. It's a good nature, you heard? You know what I'm saying? I rub elbows with, I don't give a fuck if you're a nerd. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, yo, I had a dude, this is no lie, I had a dude who ran a motorcycle store. He sold motorcycle parts, white tech. Weird, but he was white. And I lived upstairs from him. I rented an apartment from him upstate. And um, he had no friends. And I'm not going to say that he had no friends. People came there and, you know, they, they, you know, what happened was you can tell that he was the odd boy out of all his friends. But, you know, and they used to tease him a lot, you heard? But the kid was smart. He had a motorcycle store that he sold motorcycle parts in. And he was white and he was never used to being around blacks. I'm not even going to lie. He didn't know what it was to be around blacks. He grew up sheltered all his life. So, you know... You know, periodically, I lived upstairs with, you know, my baby mother, she was white. And I wound up buying a motorcycle and buying parts from him. And then when the book Zebra Town came out, 
um, in 2010, he went and bought like five of them. And, and he bought the Ville, which wasn't really about me, but that was only front cover. But he bought the Ville, he bought Zero Town. He's like, yo, and I came to the store one day and he had it on his wall. I said, yo, you, oh shit. You got my books up? He's like, yeah, man. So I start, you know, I start rubbing elbows. What's up, man? Let's go walk. Let's take a walk. And we used to take a hike. Because where we lived at was nothing but hills. And, you know, and it was beautiful up there. You can see down, you can see over the whole city of Elmira. So when you go to the top. So, you know, we used to take hikes, you know, walk together, boom, boom. And, you know, and, um, <laughs> and you know, he was, he was very... Very happy that he had he he had a friend, you know what I mean? That you know and uh, you know you know you gotta put it like this: like there's a lot of white people that that's scared of blacks. They not prejudiced. They scared. It's a difference, you know what I mean? Because you know they they feel that we are, we you know we wild, and of course, and it's not that they prejudiced. It's just that they scared. It's a difference. So. He used to be, I could tell, scared of black people. I don't think he was prejudiced. He wasn't prejudiced. He was just scared. You know what I mean? Because of unexpected things that he heard of what they do, like shooting and stabbing and killing. Yeah, he wasn't used to that. But I was the closest thing to him to the streets. So when he read about me and he seen all this, he was like, man, I got a killer upstairs. And he was, a, he was happy about that shit. He was like amazed. Like, he, he called his family from Connecticut and all that. Yo, yo, God, kill a cab upstairs from me. And I'm like, they, they telling him, you better be careful. He's like, nah, he likes me. You know, shit like that. So I, I did like them. I like them a lot because we was friends. And I wasn't doing nothing to him. I wasn't thinking about doing anything to him or whatever. You know, so, you know, we, we, we started after a while. We began to get, you know, tight. He went with me to the gym. I was helping with him with the with the, with the boxing gloves. I to take boxing. He never did boxing. He don't know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do a lot of things, man. He was real sheltered. And his family, he was, and you know, his family kept him from high school to business. And all he did was sold motorcycle parts. And, you know, and he was a little strange. I'm not even gonna say he was a little strange. Man, you know, I and I and I understood. But I took him to the gym. Had him working out with me, boom, 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 working, boom, boom, and the boy, the boy basically like loved me. You heard? He was young, but he he basically fell in love with me. You know, no homo. Fell in love with me like, yo, man. He kept, you know what I mean? One time, my motherfucking baby mom's, I wasn't even living with. Her, I was just staying there, but she was behind rent, and he was like, yo, I don't know what to do. I said, don't worry about it. I want to give him the money and pay for the next two months, two months rent. And he was real happy about that. Because the only reason why I paid that because she had my son up there. You know what I mean? And she was out of a job because she got she got a uh, hurt or something. So I paid the rent a month too because he was about to be a victim. And they don't like him. That's funny. My big moms don't like him. You know, and, and it was weird. But I paid for the, her to stay there. And I was like, don't worry about her. Don't pay attention to her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, so, you know... They just scared. They just scared of us. They 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 don't. They just scared. Of, like, you know, they think we freak out sometimes. They think that we cuckoo sometimes. But it's not that they prejudice. They think that we just cuckoo. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. But um, yeah. His name is Dan Fisher, and he 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 was a good he was a good dude. We wound up moving out. Well, my baby mom's wound up moving out, and he rented the apartment upstairs. He took the apartment. He took the apartment upstairs and things of that nature. But you know, he, you know, I rub elbows with all, all type of guys. You know what I mean? And he definitely was a strange dude. I, you know what I mean? You know, I, I, he's the. I'm telling you, strange. He was strange. You know what I mean? So you know, but you know, he still, he's still doing good. He got his business, and you know, he continued to ride bikes. He's a dirt bike rider. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't judge. You know? Why? Right. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to make something happen. That's a fact.
Now he he just looked at strange, you right? Sometimes I catch him staring. Yeah. Sometimes I catch him staring at some weird shit like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I try not to pay that shit no attention. You know what I mean? Because I'm strange too, though, you heard? New Orleans, what up? What's good? You know, I'm, I, I, you know, you notice I'm kind of, I got kind of like good energy. I got some good energy today, you heard? I got some good energy today. You know what I mean? The day was, it still was a blessed day because my real niggas came and saw me. My real niggas continued to reach out to me. And that's what matter, man. You know what I'm saying? You know how I connected with Flip? This is a story, right? I, I didn't know nothing about podcasters, right? My day was good, you heard? God love you, just a fact. Now I was born in 69. But this is how I met Flip. My, 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 my shit with Flip was this. Um, there was, uh, I, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, what happened was, uh, this is how I met Flip. This is coincidental. I was riding with my man, B-Dub. You know, he's a little homie, you know? So, you know, for years, everybody been hearing about me. Yo, kid, big homie, the big homies, you heard, boom, boom. So it just so happened that, uh, you know, a guy named, you know, Soul B did a Queen's Flip show. And, you know, and he was on the show saying he was the big homies of the big homies. And he was, you know, mad dog, whatever. He had mad dog, you heard? But um, he was doing the story, whatever the story he was doing and whatever stories he told, you know, I didn't, I didn't pay no mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what happened was I started getting, you know, calls from people all over. Like, Yo, why they don't mention you? <laughs> so who the fuck is you talking about? Yo, the dude so big, he don't mention you at all. You know, you don't, they don't say nothing about you. You and everybody know you the big homie. I be, I said, yo, shine. But you know, he got agitated. I got agitated after a while, and I wound up listening to the so B story, and it was a part. This is what made me go to Queens Flip. I didn't even know him. What happened was, um, 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 he was explaining the story about an incident that happened when he went to Attica. And just as he was about to say this, um, that they, um, what happened was So B was explaining the story on Queens Flip saying that, um, yeah, they know they beat a homie up. And I told them they got one more time to do something and this shit gonna go up in smoke. And they did. That's when I came in at. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm at the motherfucking video. Like, oh, he about to talk about me. What the fuck these niggas talking about? But the shit cuts off. The part where I come in. When I'm not the police out. So boom, I had a person who know about all this podcast shit that I never knew about. That I don't listen to. I don't be on the internet. I never did before I came about. Now I do, but you know, because I pay attention. But anyway, they call the podcast. Queen's Flip answered the phone. And my man told him to tell So B, you know, tell So B, man, you know, Killer Kev is upset that he didn't mention him, that he didn't pay homage, you know, and So B told Queen's Flip, wow, tell Killer Kev. That I mean no intentions on doing that. And I apologize deeply. And he informed Queen's Flip. That's the real deal. Before me. Before all these other niggas. That's how I came about. He said, so be. Told Queen's Flip. That's who you need to talk to. That nigga right there. Killer Cat. Was homie. Was putting it in before all these other big homies. That's who you need to talk to. That's how I met Flip. Flip wanted to what? Get in touch with me immediately. Got in touch with me immediately. You heard? Got in touch with me immediately. 
and said, bro, I need you on the show because the way Toe B gave it up for you and how much love he got for you, I need you to come on the show. And I was like, you know what? I don't do this flip, but I'm going to do it. You heard? And that's what happened. I came on the show. I laid it down. Gave him the whole thing. Official stamp. Nobody couldn't reiterate my story. Everybody, CK, Shaquel, Sobe, everybody, yeah, they pointed, everything pointed in my direction. Because I had history with all these diggers. You heard? I wasn't the type of, I wasn't the type of blood, you heard? I wasn't the type of blood that made for little of the stories and nobody couldn't vouch for it. I was that type of blood that made up stories and nobody couldn't be like, nah, I don't remember that. You heard? I didn't, nah. I was there. I did it. Been there. I start shit. I mean, that's how I was stamped. You heard? So, you know, I didn't get up and, 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 and shot nobody else's stories down. Everybody got their own stories. Everybody had their stories. And you know, there was people that wanted me to tell her. I left out a lot of shit about a lot of people. I did. About what they did and what they didn't do. But that's not my business. I don't feel as, I don't think it's, it's right. To tell a real story. I mean, I told a real story about me. I left a lot of things out that motherfuckers didn't do and that they did and that wasn't true. I didn't go on there and say this and say, nah, I didn't do that. I didn't take motherfucker fame away. I, and a nigga can't take mine away because my shit is stamped. My shit is true. You heard? And that's why I brought other niggas out that I felt that was true like me. Like Wildcat, Tankhead, shout out to Deadeye, definitely shout out to Mark Cross. These was my real niggas. Wayne or Uptown Magoo, you heard? These niggas was with me. They watched me in action. They been around. All these niggas I'm talking about see me in action. So there's no, there's no, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a bug out. I got to admit it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a, I'm a real bug out. I was a bug out. I was a bug out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how me and Queens flipped. When I came on said. The tables turned all the way around. It got bigger. It got much bigger. Because now I got CK. I got Mel Cross. I got Wildcat. I brought Stack Stone. Now these are some of the official people. These are all the official out of the whole, the entire East Coast. You're going to hear about the entire East Coast. Shout out to Ty Gun. Shout out to SI. Tank hat. These are East Coast. These are niggas. It's, these are East Coast niggas. You heard? The official East Coast. You won't hear. You won't hear about us in London, Canada, England, Australia. They shout us out. So our name goes far. Our name goes far. It solidified the stamp. You know what I mean? But that's how I met. That's how I met Flip. I guess after the show, the shit went crazy. Bongers with me. This is my interview. And um, everybody, I guess everybody loved it. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't take it and ran, you heard, and be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still soaking it in. Like, I still don't, if I feel like a regular, I am, I'm a regular motherfucker. I just have to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't just doing shit just to do it. It was not for a cause, it was for a cause. You know what I'm saying? It was life and death situations. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, barely interview was whack. That nigga need to get bugged the fuck out. Even the even Lane Kings came up there and said that nigga bugged out. So what you, you know what I'm saying? Even Lane Kings came up there and said barely bugged out. But my thing is this, man. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this. My thing is, you know, um, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't condone in violence. I'm not condoning in violence right now. You know what I mean? And I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't condone the violence. And, uh, yo. 
I don't condone the violence, and I was about to get really upset because I got interrupted. I hope she shit on herself. Well, anyway, I hope you shit on yourself. And then I Keep drinking. I'm going to shit in your mouth. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm not playing with you. you better get stop. the fuck out of here, man. You're getting on my fucking nerves. Do it again. Do it again. But anyway. I'll slam everything in your head. 10K going to be coming soon, you heard? I spoke to him a couple of days ago, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? He got he got to talk to flip himself. 69, June 25th. But yeah, man, like I said, man, you know, things is different now. You know what I'm saying? You know, I try to keep it as solid as I could around my real niggas. Keep it real as I could. The principles, the morals, you heard? I want to keep it like that, you heard? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be around, you know, no fake ass shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't supposed to be around fake ass shit, you heard, you know? And I'm not saying everybody that you come in contact is fake, because you got some motherfuckers that you can, you can influence, you can uplift by being real, and they're not as real as you. So I don't I don't take that advantage, but you got some motherfuckers that act like they're about that life that's not about that life. In the long run, they're a failure, you heard? So you gotta you gotta pay attention to the people. Pay attention to the energy. Pay attention to their characteristics, their aura. You know what I'm saying? Word. But that's my thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that goes without that goes without saying, man. But I'm gonna cut this short. T-shirts is gonna come, man. I'm a cancer, y'all. June 25th, 1969. Cancer, bro, y'all. What you think about cancers? What you think about cancers? Word, that's what's up. Peace, peace. Tank K was the first adolescent. Tank K was the first adolescent that was one of the biggest bloods of the adolescents. You heard? While we was adult, Tank K was, he had the whole adolescent blood. He turned. Everybody then in the full building blood. You know what I mean? Tank head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tank head is uh he's another he's another he's another one in making it in the history, man. You heard? Salute. Made Nils some jersey. No, I don't know I don't know I don't know uh too many jersey, you know what I mean? I mean, shout out to him. I love Jersey, you heard? You know what I mean? I love Jersey, but I never ran into, you know what I mean? Um, Jersey, I never ran into Jersey um, 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 peoples and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jersey homies, but I'm going to tell you this. They got some good fighters in Jersey, you heard? Motherfuckers can fight. Jersey and Philly, they used to fight. You know what I'm saying? I think they fuck New York niggas up. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Fort Green in the house, that's what's up. Shout out to the Fort, you heard? Shout out to my son, D. Wiz, you heard? Yo, D. Wiz, man, super shout out to you, boy. Word up. <laughs> you said you blood, you're so there, son of a crab, you fool for that. Yo, you hear me? I'm bisexual, nigga. Both ways, you heard? <laughs> now, let me stop. Let me stop. Hey, yo. The nigga said, yo, that's a funny nigga. That nigga said, yo, you a cancer and you blood, nigga? You a crab? Oh, shit. 
Yo, that nigga funny, you heard? <laughs> that nigga's killing me. That nigga's killing me, you heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. They said he climbed up over the fence over a barbed wire fence, cut something. And, I mean, that was the biggest thing. But his biggest, Tank had biggest, Tank had biggest moment. He, he put the razor to the police neck on a visit. And everybody hostage. Wow, that's what he did, you heard? Put the razor to the police neck. <clears throat> Yo, had him hostage, you heard? He had the police hostage with the, with the ops to his neck. You know what I'm saying? For a while. You heard? You know what I'm saying? We ninjas? Yeah, we ninjas, son. You heard? I, I can take that, you heard? I can take that. That nigga said, yo, KK, how you a crab and you a blind ass, son? You fool. <laughs> that was a good one. That's a good one. That was good, you heard? All right. Facts, 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 facts. Thank you. Sophia Pro Pro Productions, you know what I mean? Word up, thank y'all. I heard a YB. Nah, man, I ain't on this website to push no hate. I ain't on here to talk about niggas. I don't care if niggas talk about me, you heard? I ain't on here to talk about niggas to get my numbers up. I don't need money, but you know what I'm saying? I don't need money. I ain't starving for money. You know what I mean? I just want to get, I want to get down with my social. I want to get down with my social, my fans, you heard? I want to get down with my peoples. That's my, fuck fans. I want to get down. I want y'all to become my peoples, you heard? I'm a peoples person. Fuck a fan. I ain't nobody. I'm just like you sit at the table. You know what I'm saying? One bedroom apartment, you heard? I ain't in a big house, drive cars, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Take the train, take the bar, take the can, take an Uber, you heard? Regular nigga. I don't want to be an outcast and shit, man. I get nervous when I start thinking out, or someone think I'm bigger than, nah, nah. I don't like that type of, I don't like that type of shine, you heard? Good night, homie out. All right. Nah, man, the only thing I used to kick, Rapping and real what I used to kick and, and rapping when I was young. You know what I'm saying? With songs like Incarcerated Scarfaces, you heard? Scarface was my shit. Mr. Scarface was my shit. Um Ray Kwan and Shep was my shit. Nah, man, I never had to run with the Crips, man. When I was doing, when I was banging, wasn't in Crips around, man. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Peace to Carcerated Scar Faces. Shep and Shine like a marble. Rhymes remarkable. Real niggas raise up. Spend your money, arguable. But this time it's for the uninvited. Go ahead and rhyme to it. Big niggas, mics are getting fired. <laughs> Who fakes? Man, I don't know about my... I got a cash app, man. I don't know how to do that shit yet. You heard? Don't worry about it. Good luck. Franklin Avenue, Crown Heights? I was living on Franklin. Y'all should live on Franklin and Clawson. What's up? Burning like chlorine. Franklin and Clawson. Remember the Frank R. Bell funeral home on Clawson? I got PayPal. I ain't stressing for no money, though. Devon from where? Quaymar? Sound familiar. Word up. Word up. That's a fact. Right down the block. 
Closet and facts, you heard? I used to be, that was my stomping grounds, you heard? Back when I was young, I used to go see my brother. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my brother, my cousin. He lived on Clawson and Franklin. I had Frank R. Bell Funeral Home. What's the public school right across the street? What's that school across the street? And the store right there. Um, it was a store, the school. Then around the corner, you had the um, Frank R. Bell Funeral Home. Yeah. With Mac 10s and broke friends. You got guns, I got guns too. What up, son, do? Yeah, PS316. The L spot? Nah, I be chipping my shit off, man. That's that's disgusting. I be chipping my shit off. Chipping my shit off. I do my shit by. Nah, I be biting my shit. Listen, you be biting the shit now. Nah. You want a battle for cash to see your son through? Yo, you probably West Jack Smack. Niggas is wet. Niggas lyrics is wet. Niggas can't stand an unofficial wet tissue. Blank butt, scud, missile. You roll like chump, get your meat slump. Yo, I don't know about Pistol Pete, man. I heard, I seen the videos. And, you know, I heard he was cheering niggas up, and I ain't never come across him. He ain't never come across me. I can't speak on him, you heard? Can't speak on him and shit. I, you know, I only speak on what I what I know, what I did, you heard? I try to keep it gully like that, you heard? I already know, son. Dr. Wood, now I don't know no motherfucking Dr. Wood. Good looking, cat. Good looking. Yeah, man. Who is GQ Casanova, really? I don't know. Big Jamel. Big Jamel name rung bells. You heard? Big Jamel rung bells in the back in the days. Not even going to lie. And I only know one big, I heard, I know one Big Jamel. He, his name ran bells back in the day, son. Yeah. The game different definitely is, you heard? He run the island, yeah. Take off those rings and those wallabies. See me at Caesar Palace. He's a rat in the Dallas. That's your family, Big Jamel? Here's the policy. I'm gonna try to do the cold show with Flip, you heard? I think it'd be interesting. You think it'd be interesting if I do the cold show? Yeah, I ain't knew Big Jamel was your people's, man. I, 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 his name rung bells back in the days, you know what I'm saying? I'm 50. Big Jamel got to be around my age or older, you heard? I'm going to do the call and show. Yeah, they got a documentary. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to tell you what it is. You go to YouTube, right? You type in my name. Killer Cab Zebra Town. You're going to see a picture. Gonna, picture's going to come up, right? You're going to see a black and white picture. Black man, white woman. And it's like they're almost kissing. You can hit that button. And you can see my documentary. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my um, autobiography. Everybody fool they call call the show. Yo, what's up? The KK fit the fuck up. You know they gonna be wild on me. Yo, KK, you fuck what's up. You both dope fiend there. You know they gonna be wild on me, right? You KK, you won't fuck me. You know what I mean? But yo, where you at, son? You heard? What's your address, son? Yo, I'm going to have to call the phone where I can trace the motherfuckers, you right? Don't say nothing. I'm going to trace you. When you call, poo, your address is going to jump. Your address is going to pop up, you heard? Bing, like, all right, write that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Facts, you hear me? You know what I mean? My shit going to be rigged, nigga. 
Why tap? When you call in, when you tap in, I'm going to tap out. I'm going to tap out, you heard? But this shit going to come up. Oh, shit, 1632 Boston Road. All right, I got you. Oh, shit, what? 1321 East New York Avenue. Oh, I got you, nigga. You heard? <laughs> I'm going to tag you, motherfuckers, you heard? I don't know everybody's address and shit, you heard? Remember Candy Man, right? You knock at your, knock at your door. Who was that? Candy Man. Candy Man, you heard? Nah, man, you gotta make, you gotta make, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta make this shit. Give you a good pick to perform the play. I was locked up with um, Slick Rick. I think I had dirty drawers on, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been down south. I just came from down south. South Carolina, you heard? Orangeburg. Nah, Attica was all right, man. It wasn't wild. The police was an asshole, son. You know what I mean? Police in Attica was, was, was racist. They had uh, black babies on their arm. You heard? They had black babies. They had tattoos of black babies on their arm. They was white. They had tattoos of black babies on their arm with a rope around their neck. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Facts. And they used to roll their sleeve up. And, you know, because I used to work for a utility gang in B Block in Attica. And these motherfuckers had black babies tattooed with a rope around their neck. That's why I did what I did. You already know Hustle Sean. She said facts they did. You heard? Yeah, I saw a tattoo. Why you think I knocked them motherfuckers out? Yeah, son. Shit was crazy. You know what I mean? And I was working for them. I, used, I was on a utility game. And I was working for them. And, you know, I always got offended. You heard? I'm like, damn shit, right back to the slave shit. You heard? We throwing garbage out, cleaning shit up. These niggas walking around with their shit like this, you heard? Just like this, with the showing that shit off. Showing that shit off. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, it was a motherfucking match, man. Attica niggas had that shit. What happened? You still shitting? Now, you trying to play me on motherfucking I ain't trying to play you. Now, I'll be born, right? I'll take this motherfucking, I'll take this motherfucking <laughs> shit and beat your ass, right? <laughs> I'll beat that. your motherfucking ass on this shit. <laughs> hey, you calm your ass down. Oh, man, I love you. Good night. Look at that shit. Don't get mad because you got to shit every five minutes. Because you got to take that shit. And we got to go in the hospital. We got to go in the doctor in the morning. You got to go through the same shit I went through. But I ain't drink all of that shit, man. You know, sometimes, you know, at my age, I had to get kept, I had to get checked for cancer. So, yeah, it's called, cl what, clonostomy or some shit like that. So, you got to drink this liquid, right? This big. You got to stop eating or drinking like two in the afternoon before the day. So, you got to drink half the bottle until that shit loosens up your bowels. You know what I mean? Your insides. And then you gotta wait a couple more hours, like two, three in the morning, she gotta drink the other half of the bottle. And you know what I'm saying? She gotta, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a shitty situation tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm just fine. Come on, I'm going over here. Then if I do shit, I'm shit right on your ass. Little black dot. How about that? Little black dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, shit! I have it it's gone. What's going? I only got this much. Why you drunk the whole fucking thing? Cause I want to. You like that shit? Yo, it's gonna be a different story since you drunk the whole shit for tonight. You should have waited a half and didn't do another half. But now you gonna drink the whole shit? Let me see it. Let me see this shit, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. Let me see. 
The Israelites is Israelites, man. They don't like they don't like crackers, you are. And you know what's crazy about Israelites? You remember when they used to be out there with their dresses on and all of that? Oh, you ain't got you got you, got, you still got plenty left. No, this is a little bit. Let me see. This is what this is what she drinking all day. Oh, see. Not in no, this is what you drink all day. You know what I mean? This is this is a check. What happened was you drink that. When you get my age, they, they the doctors just automatically check you for you know for cancer. You know what I mean? So you gotta drink half of it, clean your whole intestine up so they can stick that shit in your butt. You heard? They stick shit in your butt like a microscope, like a seed, and they take pieces out. Your insides, through your rectum, and to see if it's cancerous. So, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Colon cancer, right. Checkup, exactly. So, that's what happens. And I failed mine. I don't, I don't know if I got cancer or not, but I did half, and I didn't drink the other half. Fuck that. I went in there. And they put me to sleep. They put the IV in me. It was burning. And that shit put me out. They put you to sleep. Poof. And they stuck that shit in my butt. I don't know, though. I didn't feel nothing. I just woke up. And they was like, Davis, wake up. Boom. They was like, yeah, we're just doing some tests. But it was incomplete. And they told me to come back in August. And I, I didn't go back. You know what I mean? I need, to, I, need to, I need to check it. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't. I don't know. They they said they couldn't look. They couldn't. They couldn't de, de, decipher it. They couldn't give me an answer because I didn't do the whole thing. I still had you know waste in my body. Nah, I never be fooled, man. I don't fuck about food. Never be fooled, nigga. I never be fooled. I'm with this. You just can't eat me. I throw up, you heard? They throw up eating me, you heard? You ever ate something that you love so much, you like, and that shit fuck your whole stomach up. You start shitting and vomiting. That's that's me. You heard? Fuck out of here, nah. I ain't never fool. Never fool. Y'all niggas fool and shit. I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Can't get this good money, you heard? I am. I'm here. I am. Charles Wong. Yeah, but well, I'm about to call it tonight and shit. You know what I mean? I get up with y'all tomorrow, man. I hope I get some good more news, you heard? This day was all right. Today was good. Today was good. Bang with Smurf, no, I see him. I want to bring out Tank Head. I'm trying right now, man, you heard? You know what I mean? I'm trying to bring him out, shit. Red Moon, homie. Red Moon, you heard? You know what I mean? Out. But um eventually everything's gonna come out. Nah. <laughs> He's stupid. Yo. Yo, why you doing that? Nah, I don't know about no buffing king, you heard? Yeah, I still buy. Yeah, so you know, yeah, man, you know the crackers had on black, white babies with they on the shoulder and shit, man. Fuck, that shit made me highly, highly, highly upset. You know what I mean? That you go around and you flaunting that shit in our face with our kids on your arm with a rope around your neck. Nah, I was looking for a reason to die. I was looking for a reason to die. That nigga I knocked out. If you was in Attica between 95 and 697, it's a it's a CEO named Flinkelstein. Flinkelstein. You look like a serial killer. You heard? Thick glasses. You heard? You look like a perv. You know what I'm saying? His name is Flinkelstein. That's who I knocked out. Stomped on. Eh, 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 eh. Poof, poof. Eh, 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 you heard? Yeah, I gotta get four thousand hours first. But, but yeah, man, I'm about to shut it down. I'm about to shut it down. 
12.30, it's kind of late. I'm about to give y'all, I'm about to give y'all all a break right now. Talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm salute y'all. Love you too, Dave Johnson. I'm an enemy. Boo! You know what I mean? Yo, y'all bless up tonight, all right? And uh, y'all be safe. Likewise, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, mm, may God wake me up. Hit that like. Hit that like for KK. Hit that like, man. Oh, I don't know about that. Everybody hitting that like? Everybody hitting that like? It's a little big, homie. Boom. Yo, hit that like button. What you say? <laughs> All right. I'm just reading some things. But I'm about to hang up. What's that? Donald Peterson, what's that? All right. All right, now I'm about to be. I'm about to bounce off. Yo, good night, good night, OG. I love y'all. Word up, peace, to brothers. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Drink some lemon water this morning, tonight. Drink some lemon water. You know what I mean? Pray, peace, love, hair grease. I love. <laughs> yeah, and oh.